Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we're going to be making an industrial silo piece of terrain. It can be used for a mixture of games, focused on Warhammer 40k but can be used for a wide range, both scales and gaming systems. So let's crack on, let's get into the tools that we're going to be using. So here we have a hot glue gun, definitely need a hot glue gun. As well as the hot glue, we're going to have some all purpose adhesive. Uh, super glue would probably do as well. A knife, we're using a retractable knife. Nice sharp pair of scissors. Pencil. This is a 50mm um, postage, not postage, um, sellotape reel. Um, so obviously the sellotape's all gone and we've just left behind with that. But it's 50 millimeter tape. Um, it's quite easy to come across. Um, yeah, you can get larger ones, smaller ones. If you have smaller ones, they're normal sellotape reels, half the size, so you can just stack them on top of each other to get the same height as this. Um, a nice ruler. Here we have some straws, two straws. Some foam board. This is 5mm thick foam board. You're not going to use all of this, so if you've got a scrap piece, a bit smaller, that's probably plenty. Got two thicknesses of plastic card. This is 0.5mm thick card, so this is very thin. And this one's th thicker, double thickness, so this is 1mm in thickness, a lot stronger. And obviously, a cutting mat. That is the materials we're going to be using. So let's get into the project. Okay, step one. This is the thickest piece of plastic card, so one millimetre in thickness. We're going to have our reel. Place it in the corner. And with the pencil, just draw around it. Now that we've done that, we're going to use our scissors and just cut that out. Now that we've cut our circle out, which will be the top of our silo, we need to glue it on there. We're going to be using the all-purpose glue. Hot glue doesn't um, always work on the cardboard reel um, for some reason. And by the time you you know you've put glue here and then you've ran it all the way along, the first bit of hot glue would have dried. Um, so I'm going to put the caps back on your glue. Do I want it to dry out? And we're just going to place it on there. There we go. So we're going to let that dry. It's going to take a little while, and we'll get back to the next step. Okay, next step. Now that that's set, we want to have some edges where we've cut the plastic card with using the scissors. Might be a little bit rough, uh, not completely circular. Just to um, make these edges a little bit rounder, we can use our our knife, and you can leave the knife in that position, just on top, and you just roll the reel away from you, just so the blade runs along the plastic card. And it will take off any of the edges. You need to push down, but you don't need to move the edge of the blade so it's not coming towards you or anything. All you're doing is spinning the wheel around. So we'll just go around this. That's a lot better. Next step. So now that we're at this stage where we have the um, top of the silo on there, we want to cover up the the lines and the mess which has been left from the sellotape um, on this reel. So to do that, we're going to get the thinnest card. I think it's plastic card. 
Now this is a 50 millimeter roll. So we want to measure up on here. Ooh, 50, or oh, five centimeters. Um, let's get this as accurate as possible. And pencil, measure this side. Now come to the other side. Same again. Nice ruler isn't long enough, but we can work it out. And where we use the scissors to cut that line out. So when we have both these components here, so this is the cover up piece of plastic card to go around the outside and the silo, we need to get a hot glue gun, just wipe off any excess glue. I'm going to put a small bit of hot glue along this edge, just don't want loads to come out, very small amount of hot glue. If we have loads on there, what will happen it will be too thick, it will be too raised for the um, it won't lie flat on the reel so we want it to be as thin as possible. Okay, so that's stuck. What I'm going to do is wrap around the reel like so. Now, we've come to the end. And what we're going to do is just pinch it there. Hot glue gun again, wipe off any excess. Now hot glue along this edge where it connects to the start. And pull it tight and press it down. So that's, that looks good. But we're left with this flappy bit, which we obviously don't want. So we need to cut that. And because this is thin plastic card, you can see the line um, where you first attached the piece of plastic card. So what we're gonna do is just grab our knife. And we're gonna cut that down that line. And you can use a ruler if you really want. There we go. It's all stuck nicely. So there's no lines now showing through where the, the sellotape was attached to the reel previously. So we're going to tidy up and get on to the next step. See you in a minute, guys. Okay, so now we at this stage. We need to just put a little bit of detail on this because at the moment it's a little bit plain. So to do that, the offcut which we which we cut off here, which was attached, it was the flap which we didn't want. We're going to use that, and what we're going to do, work from the straight edge, which would be this one, that one's a little bit wonky. So we're going to just mark out one centimeter, and we're going to do that four times. So one, two, three, four, and at the bottom. Same again. Join that up so it's ready to cut. In fact, you, no point in you drawing the line. Just get your knife. And now that's the rubbish one. Don't want that. So we have four uprights. 
So now that we have our four uprights, we need to stick them on our silo on the side. Now we have the line where we attach the two bits of plastic card. So let's run a little bit of, let's get rid of some of that. Um, some, run some glue along that line there. And just place the plastic card on top. Let the bit overhanging to be the base of the uh, silo. So press that down. Just hold it for a couple of seconds. Okay, so that's glued on there. I'm going to go ahead and put one on the opposite side, so over here, and the other two along there. And we'll see you in a minute, guys. Cheers. So what I've done, had some of the uprights overhanging um, just off the base of the silo, so just use the scissors and trim those off, and they're fine. So that sits nicely there. Now we need to stick that onto a base and that's where the foam core comes in, so this foam board. Now let's work this one out. It's up to you how much space you want to allow around the outside of the silo. But I think, let's measure this. Maybe four, I think four inches. Yeah, let's go four inch squared. Yeah. Okay. So, let's measure a four inch square out and I'll get back to you. See you in a minute, guys. So, I've measured out the four inch square just to check. Yeah, that's, that's fine. It leaves us enough space around the model and that's good. So what we're going to do is cut that out. So using the ruler and the knife. There we go, that's our base now. So what we need to do is attach it to it. I mean again, it's up to you how if you want the upright to be centered to the outside edge of the square. Um, you could do that, you could have it diagonally, it's completely up to you. I'm gonna go with I want the upright right on the facing the side. Now to glue this, we need to use the all-purpose glue again because hot glue doesn't take so well to the cardboard on this side. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's put plenty of glue on here. And I want it facing the edge. Now you have to be careful using super glue all purpose adhesive like this I'm using on foam board if it's exposed to the polystyrene on the sides but we're gluing on top of it so we don't have to worry but if you were it would melt away the polystyrene so just be aware of that any glue just around the base just wipe that away because you don't want it to build up it won't look very good So we just want that to dry and we'll come back, we've got some, some of the straws we're going to add and do some piping. So see you in the next step guys. Bye. Okay so that's been glued on there, just wipe off any strands of glue left from the hot glue gun, don't want any of that. And now what we're going to do 
is put hot glue on the ends of these, bend them over and attach them to the base. So, hot glue. Bend it over carefully. And attach it to the base. Just keep it there for a couple seconds. Make sure it's set properly. Okay. Nope, it's not set properly. <laughs> There we go. So that's one. Now we're going to do exactly the same with the other one. Hold that for a couple of seconds. Try to place them in line. Okay. Yep, yeah, looks set. All right, so that is the silo. You could get, put more detail on the outside and maybe do something on the top, but this is a simple tutorial gives you the basic foundation on how to make a silo and this is quite nice nice looking we're going to go ahead and paint it up put some bit of detailing on it um, like rust effects and things like that so I see you in a minute I'm going to tidy up and get the painting stuff ready see you guys